Good afternoon, YouTube. I'm in with my chickens in their little area, monitoring their progress because I'm learning that chickens hate change. I've changed up a few things and they are like thinking life is over. Um, they're very dramatic. They love routine, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to change their habits. But I added a new nesting box, the rollaway nesting box, and they hate it. They do not like the change of scene and comfort. And so it's creating one problem after another. And I'm trying to figure out how to get them back to the old times and how they felt then. This one is going crazy because she doesn't know where to lay her egg. Um, she keeps hopping over the neighbor's fence into their area with the horses. And I keep having to go and fetch her because she's just so confused as to like where her nesting box is. As you can see, she doesn't quite know what to do or where to lay her egg, so. And it's so sad, and I feel really bad. All I wanted was them to not eat their eggs, because these are the egg eaters right here, so. Yeah, it's really hard to train them. Or, you know, it's the second day, so. They still need time to get used to things, but yeah, she's like, it's really hard for her to adjust. Oh, Matilda, she loved it. She had no problem laying her egg in there. She loved it too much because she slept in it, so I have to fix that. The other thing that I kind of like changed up a while back was their feed. So I took this metal box out because um, it was raining a lot. Their feeder was getting wet inside and then the food was getting wet so I didn't want that to keep happening so what I did was brought that feeder in and then I started fermenting and adding water to their feed which I thought was gonna be better long term save money get them full faster however it just created these gaps because I would feed them about like two or three times a day but then in the gaps I felt like they started getting stressed without like ac quick access to food so um then they resorted i feel like to starting to eat their eggs i feel like that's when it's all started happening but now with a whole new change of nesting boxes i don't know what to do it's like i try to fix one problem and it created another and I tried to fix that problem and then it created another so chickens hate change <laughs> Yay! It worked! I had to put her in there. Like, I saw the cues. She was gonna lay her egg and then I just stuck her in there and so she did it. <sighs> Hope the other ones start to get a hang of it. 
to give you an update on the nesting box drama. This is the third day um, that they've been using it and I found three eggs in there. Um, it's They're starting to get the hang of things, you know, even though they don't like change, I think they adapt and do well. And um, now I'm just reflecting on yesterday because yesterday honestly was a hard day. It started out really tough because my sheep kept escaping they kept going in my garden and to say that a homesteading and farming whatever is all easy and all rainbows and butterflies it's not um yeah yesterday i just had a, a really hard day with all the drama and you know it's not easy but I'm definitely realizing that it's learning and it's patience and it takes practice and a lot of like slow achievements and I'm okay with that I'm okay with being patient and giving time for things to flourish and especially with my garden just knowing that what I'm sowing might not ever reap i might not reap a harvest from those seeds but some i might um so yeah i'm just like taking it all in and enjoying the process and just being patient and that's one thing that i've realized is i've learned a lot from this broody patient mother hen she has been diligently just patient in seeking in her reward which is her achievement in hatching this one little chick hopefully more to come but she set an example for me to be patient for the slow achievements <laughs> 